All right, so you wanna take your car to the next level and you wanna get a seat, but you haven't decided between a full-on bucket or a full-on reclinable bucket seat. So hopefully I can help you out to decide which one suits you the best. Let's go. All right guys, so before we continue on with the vlog, I just wanna clarify, I was corrected. This is not the Zeta 4, this is the Zig 4. The Zig 4 is meant for taller people. Uh, it's just the shape of the back is more curved and yeah, it's meant for taller people and it's good for 32 to 36 waist size because there is a Zig 4 wider one. So let's continue with the vlog. Let's go. All right, you guys, I want to say a special thanks to SR5 Toyo. On their last vlog, I installed the Spoon Sports crane neck spoiler and plates. He pointed out that I installed it wrong. So this plate is actually supposed to be on that side. And that plate is supposed to be on this side. So we're going to go ahead and correct that right now. Thanks again for pointing that out. There we go. Much better. All right, so a lot of you guys have asked me in the comments what kind of seats I run in the FL5 here and what brand they are. Some of you guys have actually even asked me if they're actually seat covers. Uh, in fact, they're not seat covers, they're Bridge Japan's top of the line premium reclinable bucket seats. Uh, how they got the name is Ederb is Brid spelled backwards. These are for more like the weekend warrior, the guy that wants comfort, reclinability. OEM seats are good. These are actually way better. They hold you in the corners. But if you guys are like one of those dedicated track guys, do a lot of tracking and want a full on bucket seat, that's what we're gonna do today for you guys. All right, just to compare for weight, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh the eaters with the, uh, the rails. And then after I install the rails on the uh, Zeta Force, we're going to weigh them again just to compare how much difference a reclinable bucket seat is to a full-on bucket seat. Eater with the bracket is 17 and a half kilos. You guys, you know what? Just for information wise, now that I have the actual seat out by itself, I'm going to go ahead and uh, measure it for you guys just to see what the uh, seat weighs without the bracket, because some of you guys might not go with the uh, Bridge Japan seats uh, rails. So, so some of you guys are just gonna wonder how much they weigh. Okay. It is 10 and a half kilos, just the seat alone. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and measure the Zeta Force. These are 5.7 kilos, much, almost like half. Yeah, literally half. All right, so to enable us to install the Zeta 4s, you will need a set of rails, which are these ones. And the part number is right there. Okay. And on top of that, you will need a set of these. So what you get in this kit is the Bridge Japan seat uh, brackets. Not the rails, but these are the brackets. Okay. And all the necessary hardware to mount it. Okay, so I installed the brackets and to the slider. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wait for you guys just to see what the bracket and the slider itself alone uh, weighs. Surprisingly, it is seven, it is seven kilos. It actually weighs more than the actual seat itself. So now I'm going to go ahead and install the seat. Okay, let's weigh this baby. Let's see how much this, uh, this full setup weighs. This is with all the hardware, the buckle, the rails, the sliders, everything. Hopefully I can pick this up. Okay, it is total setup with a Zeta 4 is 12.6 kilos. Impressive. All right, guys, so I got the seat in and it's, it's pretty sick. So I just want to show you guys how to get into a bucket seat or even a reclinable bucket seat because a lot of guys hop in and they just destroy the bolster here or just destroy their ass just hopping in because this, this destroys your uh, tailbone if you don't know how to get in. So best way I found 
well, I guess best way Gianni found. He's a lot bigger than I am. A lot of people try to like slide in like this, but that's, uh, here, I'll show you. So basically, if you're gonna hop in, you put your hand here and you're bracing yourself and in, all right? Or hopping out, same thing here, or grab the bolster here and lift and hop out. Full bucket seat, I find this is the, uh, I drove it for a few days already, just to be uh, clear. So on the first day, cause just, I'm five, five and 32 inch waist and I'm, I'm snug, like really snug in here. And that's the whole purpose. You don't want to be kind of like slopping around because the whole point of a bucket seat is it's going to hug you when you take the corner and you're not flopping around everywhere. Originally I had it cause I'm not super tall. I had it on the first notch, the second notch on the front. So it's kind of tilted up a little bit. I like my seat position pretty much straight up. I don't like it leaning. I find it kind of gave me a headache. It was just, it was, it was too straight. And I found myself after a couple hours of just driving around, I felt that it just, uh, it was just giving me a headache. So I moved it back down one notch and I, I find that it's like, for me, it's the sweet spot. And it just, it, it's perfect. Sliding in, that, in and out, very easy. Hopping in and out. Once you know, it's easy. Um, the one thing, if you guys are probably wondering, uh, the adjustments are actually quite easy. You can actually access them. Obviously these ones are from the uh, front are really easy. And if you slide it, you do have a lot of access in the back because I was able to adjust it without removing the, the whole bucket seat itself. So it's really easy, a lot of room to uh, slide in your Allen key or a ratchet, uh, very easy to change out. So you can adjust it there. Um, let's go to the other side. Here without the steering wheels, easy hop in, just very easy, you guys. I love, I love these seats. So what do you choose? I put in a few hours in the uh, Zeta 4s. A lot of guys are saying, you know, they're uncomfortable or a full on bucket seat uncomfortable and it's not good for, once you choose the right bucket seat that holds you in to find the right sweet spot for your positioning. Honestly, it's comfortable. Well, it's quite comfortable. Yeah, it's not just comfortable because you don't want to get into a seat that gives you discomfort. But once I found that sweet spot and then that right position, done deal. There really is, it's pick your poison, you guys. Full on bucket, looks cool, fantastic. The only thing I can say is when you go into these ones, you have the luxury of reclining when you want to, especially on a long, let's go, if you go to a long road trip, uh, car show and you want to have a few hours, you have the luxury of reclining it. And it's, it's, it's not as snug as the Zeta 4s, but for me, this will do because I'm not a, it's not a full on dedicated race, you know, race car. It's just a weekend warrior and can, like canyon runs. Um, this, this seat will do. The cons, it is almost double the weight, double the weight. So give or take, whatever you want like if it's gonna, if you want that reclinable, you gotta give up a little bit of weight. If you want a full on race, car look, uh, inspired race car, maybe there's that a force. If you're a bigger guy, you they, they do come uh, wider. I can't remember what they're called. Zetas, Z, Zetas, I think, I think. I'll put the information in the description below. If you guys wanna check it all out, go to Envision Auto Imports. They're more than happy to help you guys. What I recommend, if you have friends that already have a bucket seat or a reclinable bucket seat and you're on the fence, cause sitting it in it, is one thing uh, like i say a car show if you in the cane area and you're in the western side uh envision auto imports always puts on a show and they always bring out all their seats and i find when i sat in it it gives you an idea but it's not when it's in the car and you're driving it it's a totally different feeling so oh, you, i'm telling you guys you will have a different opinion about the seats hopefully the size of it you can't honestly you can't go wrong I like, I like both of them. I found this one after a few hours of driving. I started to like it a lot. 
I did have misconceptions of like a bucket seat is going to be uncomfortable after a few hours or like if you do a long road trip. Um, think about it. GT3 RS, it's a full bucket seat. Some of the higher end Porsches, like the more race oriented Porsches, full on bucket seat. There is no recline. There is a recline, but it's in the rail. It's like the bucket seat itself is not, it's fixed. So, and some of those guys do a long drive. As for seat belts, these are just like your, your uh, regular seats, your stock seats. They just, just like that, just like normal. Okay, so you don't do no adjustments to your seat belts or anything. And uh, let's go to the other side and I'll show you the Zeta Force. Okay, for the seat belts on the Zeta Force, because these, okay, are not too bad. Some guys are saying go through this loophole and then onto the seat belt. So with this slider orientation, the seat belt is connected to the actual slider itself. So it will slide with the actual seat. Uh, some of them may be stuck to the, um, let me see here, the, uh, I, I can't remember, but some of them are stuck to the, where when you slide the seat belt stays in one position and doesn't go with, this, with the uh, seat itself. So keep that in mind when you're picking your, uh, this uh, the right uh, slider. So this one, I find a little on the tight side, the course, because it's fixed for harder to buckle in. See, it's a little, a little on the loose side. I'm gonna just slide this for you. See, the seat belt stays with the slider. And I find it a little, but I find it a little on the, it's a little tight around here, around where the buckle is, but yeah, that's how it goes. Pretty comfortable. All right, guys. So the whole purpose of this seat is mainly most of its life is going to be on the track or supposedly should be on the track. So what do you need on a track is a helmet. So I have my helmet on. And I'm going to go ahead and hop into the car. And I'm going to show you with the helmet on how much clearance we have. And again, I'm 5'5". Five five, so not super tall and the zig4 is meant for taller people there we go so there is a lot of i have a lot of clearance in the zig4 here you guys very very comfortable gives me a lot of room i'm gonna slide the seat forward and this is in the in the mid position so now that I see how my head is actually hitting the back of the, the chair, maybe a little bit more of a uh, recline would probably be better. Okay, now I'm gonna show you on the e-derp side. Okay, I feel because, we, yeah. This gives me a lot more room where I'm actually comfortable with my helmet back. And I think it's in the full, yeah, full up position. So you do have that option. All right, so some of you guys are probably wondering why Bridge Japan has the Lomax logo on there. So the reason why their seats, there's a certain design on their seat that it goes below the rail. It's more designed for taller people to give them maximum head clearance. And if you look here, you see how the seat is tapered right here. Most seats are designed straight down where it hits the rail right here. This seat, you can actually go all the way down and they give you an extra, by the looks of it, almost two, maybe two and a half inches. And trust me, two and a half inches, it makes a huge difference on head, head clearance here. So when you're wearing a helmet and you're a taller guy, that two inch makes a huge difference. That's the reason why for the Lomax. Bridge Japan is the only one that has that design on their seat that is tapered on the, over the bottom of the seat. Yeah. 
All right, guys, so it really comes down to what suits you. Uh, for me, it's the full-on reclinable bucket seat because I want that extra convenience and comfort. It gives me enough hug for a track day and around the streets. You know, that extra weight doesn't really, not enough for me, but for the guys that are just full on track, the full on bucket seat with that extra weight reduction probably is for you. But for me, the eater is the way to go. All right, you guys, so that's it for this week's vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I want to say a big thanks to Envision Auto Imports for sponsoring this video. Thanks again for supplying the Zig 4, the Zig 4 seats for us to demo. And it was a fantastic, it's a great seat. If you guys are in the market for a seat, I'll put the uh, information in the description below. Hit them up. They'll help you guys get in the right seat to suit you guys' needs. We'll see you guys in next week's vlog. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification. And we'll see you guys then. See ya.